Hello, we are here right now to run to pigs, 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 pigs and their album Viscerals, an album I've listened to a lot whilst running but not filming so today we are going to film it for you just to show you how much I enjoy it just to show you the joy on my face as I run through puddles, mud, dodge squirrels jump over carp and cod I just had a pee and then said hello to a dog walker and accidentally peed all over my foot so I've got one foot which is heavier than the other foot this is going to be a great run, I can feel it, this is going to be fantastic. Heart rate is 120 before we started. And the watch is on, the music's on, and we're off, come on! Turn it up loud, yeah! I can run and watch them at the same time! Yeah, I'm in a gig, I'm in a gig! I love that immediately you just swept up in this groove, this circling groove, you're in the middle of it, and this first song is just carrying you. All you gotta do is remember to breathe, Going across that groove, you've got these guitar solos that seem to go against the flow. Oh, hang on, I need to run on a wall here. Yeah? They seem to go against the flow, like salmon going upstream, like shards of light through a cathedral window. Oh, come on, dude, and it all comes in. <laughs> yes, the riff is carrying you. It's strong, but it's not muscular. It's strong in the same way a riptide is strong. You wouldn't describe the sea as being muscular. Well, unless you're D.H. Lawrence. But you wouldn't say the sea is muscular. The sea is just strong. It's natural. That's what this music is like. It's real strength and power, but it's not showing off. It's not doing bench press or curls. It was just born that way. It matches my stride dance perfectly, and it's confident. It knows what works, and it just does it so well. Yeah, we've got another breakdown to one guitar. Just wait for it to come back in. Run with me till it comes in. Yeah! <laughs> now, I love this line. Untie the tightrope. Because, to me, that suggests there's nobody on the tightrope. If there was somebody on there, there'd be too much tension to untie it. You'd have to cut it. And by cutting the tightrope, you're putting someone's life at risk. But not pigs, pigs. Pigs, pigs, pigs. No. They're health and safety conscious. They're not macho. They're just untying it. So nobody hurts themselves. The chords then sound like they're climbing. So it's like, he's telling someone, don't get on there. But they ignore him anyway. And they go on a tightrope. Whoa! Stomach shaking solo. Miss, you want to run fast? Come on. Come on. It's as if the riffs are coming at you. But there's these little magnets protecting you. And the riffs just float around you. And you're like, whoa, that was nice. What was that? Cheers. I love that line. It must be lonely living like you. I think that's directed to someone who feels a need to go up on our tightrope. Someone who feels a need to show off. This isn't about showing off. This is like finally walking into screw fix and knowing what to do with that little pencil. This third song feels really cavernous. It feels like you're trapped underground with the devil himself and he can't dance properly. That repeated line of I don't feel a thing that really sums up this album. There's a natural strength to it. You don't feel it working on you, but ah, it just grabs hold of you. Honestly, it is so good to run to and make a bolognese too. I made a bolognese. Listen to this one. It was the best bolognese ever. This is where the album title Viscerals really comes into play. We know that someone is approaching with a gun and now it's down to our gut and heart to write the ending and these guitars squeal, go head on into each other, bounce off each other. Use your gut. Don't overthink about it. Be natural. Da -da -da -da. Oh, <laughs> that's quite a drop there. Smart. It feels like a cleanse. It feels like I've been on a detox. It feels like I've been hanging out with the coolest Christian monks on the planet. It's just weird. It's like a hellish restaurant, but the narrator is on a diet. I don't know, but oh, I love it. The most important life is the life you maintain within yourself. That line, he was dead behind the eyes and been offered a menu. You don't want the menu. You got enough inside you. What a riff. <laughs> yes. You know what this album makes me think of? It makes me think of when I realized that Newton was into alchemy. Just when you think you understand the father of science, you realize, oh, maybe he was into something else. Maybe he was into something special and otherworldly. That's what this reminds me of. It's like, just when you think you know rock and roll, something like this comes along and it's new too, it's exciting. It's unexpected, it's magical. Whoa. We've got 20 minutes left. Oh, just, just, ah, just, oh, amazing. Just picks up in intensity at the right time. <laughs> that solo just comes out of nowhere. Come on. Whoa. 
crazy and blood there really is the perfect mix of pounding bone shaking riffs and then flashes of musical brilliance i mean it's really captured perfectly on this song crazy and blood there's some really intricate riffs and now there's some beautiful harmonies in the background and it just oh, i want to rip my top off i want to rip it off hang on i think i overdid it a bit then oh. Oh, I nearly saw my breakfast again. It's like a post-apocalyptic supermarket sweep running around here. Where's Dale Winton? There he is. He's a haunted shopping trolley. Ah! That song ending with a line about being sick. So much of this album feels like it's cathartic. It's a purge. Honestly, I feel like I've been on a juice diet for a week. I've only been running for half hour. It's like being lost at sea and realizing sea is a place for you. We're nearly done. See you at the end. Ah, ha, ha. Nine kilometers in 38 minutes. I've run to that album a lot, but that was the most fun I've had whilst running to it because I was just talking about it and what it means to me. And that's also the first time I've had a stitch while doing a run review. And I think so much of that is because the music feels like it goes inside you and then comes back out, ends with an amazing, like just, this the last song is just so good. And then it just ends with this line of let's rock and oh, just brilliant, absolutely amazing. So yeah, that was one of my albums of the year. That is Visceral by Pigs, 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 Pigs. Check it out, I'll give it a listen, go for a run to it, put it on your Christmas list. See you later.